Welcome to your What's Up With Them love reading. I hope you're doing great. Let's go ahead and find out what's up with them. What is their current situation right now? What is their current situation right now? What is Virgo's love interest current situation right now? Five of Swords. Five of Cups. And Four of Swords. All right. All right, guys. Appears to me that recently... They had uh, either a egocentric, petty little victory that they regret, and they're grieving about it, okay? But they're not doing anything about that either. They're trying to not think about it because it's kind of driving them crazy so they're back and forth like in thinking about it and becoming anxious and kind of depressed and upset or doing and trying to not think about it that's for some of you but okay thanks spirit i just heard differently here from the spirit that the real what is really really happening is that they actually had a deceit it was an unfair little egocentric deceit, as I said, from the other party. Maybe they cheated to win. See how these people here are resented. They're not really accepting that. Um, and they cannot stop thinking about that. They're really like regretting. and But they are not noticing what they still have. They're just focused on, they, they're not noticing that they got the second or the third place here. They're only noticing that they didn't get the first place. And here it's them on this um, deck. This is not, I mean, this is not, I like how it looks very contemporary, but on this uh, reading right now, what the Spirit's telling me is that the Four Swords should be more like the traditional tarot deck where they're, because here seems like she doesn't care, whatever, but he uh, he or she, whatever your whoever, sorry, uh, I mean, whoever your love interest is, if it's a male or a female, they do care. And the traditional tarot deck it's more like they're going within, okay? They're arresting. They're trying to not think about it. They're trying to avoid, think about this deceit that they don't think it's fair because it's driving their nuts. So here on this deck, I really like, and sometimes it really represents very well this girl not talk, not even caring because she's doing nothing, right? When, they, when she has a bunch of work to do here. But that's not exactly in this case. It's um, what could be saying is that they are going back and forth. It's bothering them a lot, but they are really trying to not think about that a lot. And but a, a, a huge grieving is actually uh, grieving and healing is really happening with them. Okay. I know that this is not going to resonate with everybody, Virgo. And, But I know that for some of you who needs this message, it's going to resonate right on. So I would love if you could share that with me. Okay. Now let's see what else Spirit has to say. 
say about them for you, Virgo? What else? How do they feel about Virgo? Mm. The death. How do they feel about Virgo? Four of Pentacles. What they think about? Okay. Five of Wands. Oh my gosh. Wow. You see, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, they're very similar cards. The Swords, more like a mental, uh, logic uh, kind of energy. And the Wands is more passion. It still is a conflict. It's still, on Wands, is a little more like a competition. Well, and it's amazing, this deck is actually representing that here. Um... So this tells me, Virgo, is that that happened with you, like you and them. So I don't know if you are the one actually feeling like this or it's them, because even though this reading is for them, Virgo, the spirit doesn't accept, doesn't play by rules. I mean, doesn't understand that. That's a 3D word thing, right? Like on... Um, the dimension that spirit is at there's no rules and he's gonna speak with you how he wants okay he or she or it right like you will speak how it wants and basically it could be that you click on this reading because you're curious about them but the spirit want to send a message to you so you're the one that needs to know where does it fit on your life but for sure there is a message for you here but anyways, coming back here, if we go to the traditional question, which was, uh, how do they feel about you? But remember, again, Virgo, especially because you're Earth sign, and so you're very 3D, usually. I want you to keep your open mind. I mean, I love Virgos. Not, that's not a, a, a problem at all. That's amazing that you're Earth element. Um, and you, I don't mean that you're not open-minded. You are. I just want to call on that side of you a little more uh, and to let you know, to try to think very abstractively about this because um, it's important message here for you, okay? And again, I don't know if it's for you or for them, but when I asked how do they feel about you, the death card, four of pentacles, and once is telling me that this issue, the way they're feeling right now, like they didn't deserve this loss, seems like it was a fight with you. Or did you guys just broke up? Or are you taking a time? Or you just have a huge disagreement that you both may not be feeling really great about it with each other? Because it seems like that's what it's saying here. See, because how they're feeling about you, death which means see it's putting for sale they're trying to move on from what it was in the past so can represent a breakup or at least things are not going to be the way they were before this fight because they're not thinking it's fair and they're and this actually now the four of swords can represent that they're not talking to you maybe there are no contact Maybe they even ghosted you or maybe they're just um, not sharing what is really going on inside. And they could be playing passive aggressive, like being distant from you, but not telling why. And it's probably that fight. And again, that could be you doing all that with them, right? Remember how the energy is fluid. I said that several times. I'm not going to keep bothering you about it, but just keep that in mind. And then there is the Four of Pentacles. That death, that situation, they cannot let it go. It's holding them back a lot. See how it's actually aligned with the Five of uh, Cups? That is a card, card of regret. That they, Even though they want to stop thinking, they keep thinking. It's tormenting them. And the Five of Wands. So even though the cards came that, this way here... It would be nicer, it, it seems, as I know, as I told you, spirit doesn't play by the rule, but it's telling me that's more like this, because look how they align perfectly. So 
were the sayings that there was five and five, a discontent, there was an unfair victory or deceive, an unfair fight, disagreements, competition, it was selfish, it was petty, petty, it was not considerate, people were not listening to each other, they were not considering other people's perspectives, okay, and someone won, but mm, mm, doesn't seem like it was a fair victory, that is making them very, very upset, they're holding back in commitment, they are hold back in um, investment on the relationship, they're stagnated, it's ruminating their, on their thoughts, like, and in, in their emotions, it's heartbreaking for them, they're grieving, they, they wish that the situation had never happened, okay, and because of that, they are either, they're not communicating with you, or you are not communicating with them, they even thinking about moving on. It's that harsh on them. Or on you, right? Hmm. Let's see what they're telling people about you. Okay. Woo. The wish card fell. Wow. Wow, wow. And the protection card in this deck. These cards are more clear uh, as what the spirit wants to say because it's more contemporary the nine of cups here it's a very wishful card and this is a protection spell that she's doing or in here again it doesn't need to be a she it can be a he it's just how is a, a woman here um they're telling others that they wish to be protected that they need to protect themselves about that situation that really got them super upset and feeling unfair. So let's see one more card for that. Mm -hmm. And the Emperor. And they're going to really, they're very strongly thinking about this. They're hands on about their thoughts that this was not fair. They need to protect themselves. That could be that they wish that this to have never happened, as I said. And now they're going within to protect themselves. They're going to be very um, self-defensive with you. Or again, vice versa. I'm not even going to ask about the sexual energy between you guys because uh, it's not relevant in this reading. Is being a conflicting reading, probably, I mean, meaning it's a reading about more like reconciliation. So we need to go with the flow, okay? We readers, we definitely need to listen. Now let's go and ask something more relevant with this time. How about, yes, King of Calices, which is King of Cups. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I was going to ask, what is the advice? The spirit is fast in this. He really wants to advise you guys. Told me to get this one too. Okay. Wow. Wow. One more. Oh, wow. Thanks, spirit. Thank, thanks. Amazing. Wow. The advice, guys. The advice. Did you see? It came out by itself. I didn't need to... Spirit wants to give you this message. Oh my God, I'm goosey bumpy, guys. Well, whoever this is resonating, please tell me. I'm like, thank you. I feel so overwhelmed when this happens. It's like I'm the channel for you. I'm almost crying. I'm very sensitive because it's it's speaking with me. Like how uh, the device is because this can be very important to some of you. There's the death card here, and can be a life changing. Um, situation but again okay before I even read that hey you have this is not going to resonate to everybody I need to protect myself and give a disclaimer this is for entertainment only if you want to believe you can 
but you are you have free will spirit is saying you have free will and things can change and it's not going to resonate with everybody this is not going to have it all to do with everybody even if you're virgo or they're virgo okay so please understand that guys i know you do you're loving and you're very supportive but i have to say it okay um and um yes with that said things can change too if they change their attitude their thoughts they can talk to someone you can talk to and things can change this out this advice okay but right now guys Oh my gosh, the Eight of Swords, right? The Eight of Swords is being on your thoughts all the time, like like trapped. It's a, a lot of anxiety. It's, um, But to me personally, guys, what I see on this deck is almost someone numbing themselves. Look, they keep looking, searching things, see the, the little fairies. But the person is kind of numbed, like... They cannot go anywhere. Perhaps this to me represents someone even drugging themselves. Well, you don't need to take it literally, but it's to numb themselves. Um, like they're trapped. They are looking at things. Spirit saying to the device is to one of you guys, whoever this device is to that's going to resonate is to stop being trapped on your thoughts, stop numbing yourself. You need to free yourself from this nonsense, from this, that's probably for them. Free themselves for this, move on for this little problem that happened here that is actually not that terrible, right? They're really overreacting, overreacting, probably with the Emperor card here, making it too strong of what it was, for them to, or you to bring way more love for the relationship with the king of of cups that's a loving king on this contemporary deck look how loving him he is having joy having his emotions controlled enjoying the little things the simple things in life that are really really important simple activities this is golden this is more than anything why be trapped on a thing that happened and nobody can do anything about it anymore? It's in the past. Why be trapped to the point that it's hurting themselves if this is a person that's drug, getting drugged, right? That is no, no sense. And with this, the Six of Pentacles, to bring balance. Balance. Give and receive. Because someone here did not give and receive. Don't know if it was you or them. There was no give and receive because the other ones are not happy about it. It wasn't, it seems like it wasn't a fair victory here. You see, like they're trapped on it. So maybe the advice is for both of you here. Parts of the advice is for them to stop being trapped or you, whoever is trapped on their thoughts, like here, not letting it go. That's just hurting. Bring love and joy. Focus on the little nice tiny little things in life because that's what we're here for in this 3d world we get very like distracted by ego and things that doesn't really matter and these are the things that makes our spirit free and happy the little things that brings us joy the king of cups is a gentleman can be a, a female energy too don't worry i mean it's represented by a male energy, but can be a, a female person uh, too. And um, and to be balanced, to give and receive. Whoever did not think about the other person in this fight or that situation, to start doing so, because it needs to be a balance, not inequality like that, right? Um, like someone giving and the other one not receiving that's not right just so someone wins a little victory and feels all like all egocentric like oh okay there's much more in life than that which is sharing which is pleasure which is the little simple things and that was the message from the spirit guys for today or for that for you or for them and i hope that helped you guys I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put some um, 
of my stones here of balance. I'm going to put these cards out together. I'm not even going to do any other reading. I'm going to put some stones here to clear up, okay, for you guys. There are more. I'm just going to, when I shut off this video, this, this camera, I will do it and I'll do some meditation to see if it can help. Guys, thank you so much for your support, Virgo. I've been receiving great comments from Virgos, especially how I can improve, and I really appreciate that. Um, you're special, like everybody. <laughs> it's the wrong word to say because, um, you know, everybody is special, has their uniqueness. But I appreciate so much, you guys, and your support. If you could subscribe, it will help me tons. So have a great day, guys. Bye.